Hey up, how we doing? Campos here. I'm um, going to change my back cassette. I'm putting the air bike one on for the um, trial and just showing how to take a cassette off. Tools you'll need is a key goes in here there's some threads and it goes in and then a chain whip like so and a socket to go on top a 24 mil socket what fits on top as you can see to slacking it off you can't because of the spindle that's why you need the chain whip to hold it in place as you can see I've got one half of the chain whip locked into the cogs and then the other half wrapped round so I can hold it and then all I do is put pressure on and hopefully it comes off so you have to turn it anti-clockwise to take it off so turn it anti-clockwise and then that little screw will come off Then you've got one, two, and the main cassette will come out. This is Sh Shimano style. As you can see, there's a small little one there, and then you match it up. Don't know if you'll have to see there's different size on here. I'll get the new one out. It's on a hope uh, wheel set. We hope uh, hubs. See, there's a little spacer at the bottom as well. Might as well get a white well here. It might be better to see with this colour. I can see it there. There's a smaller one. And that will match up. Turn it round to that smaller one there. That just slides should slide straight on the top down like that pick uh, these up what I've dropped on floor excuse me it's still the same principle again it's still a smaller one and different size don't know if you can see in the light or not so you match that up that goes on And then the same again with the thicker edge pointing down because there's little teeth on the top of here where put your fingers together where that light grips in. So let's have a look, see where the smaller one is. There we are. And then to tighten up, you'll need a tool and then turn it clockwise. The 
without cross threading it. Key thing is not to cross thread. <laughs> oh, I don't like the feel of that all. Never go with my older one. I'll actually keep that one on, I prefer a black one, sorry, uh, air bike. But then you tighten this up to 40 Newton meters. So, what I'll do later. I'm just showing you the basics. I've got my torque wrench here anyway. As you can see, they do seem quite strong uh, cogs. So we'll see how that goes in uh, in the Yorkshire mud and grit. See how air bikes cope with an e-bike thank you for watching please like and subscribe i'll do some more basic maintenance um i've got pedals to put on i've got my chain ring to put on and i know a, a secret tip um how to do that as well well just makes it life a little bit easier please subscribe thank you for watching goodbye